Allison here, and in today's FileMaker tutorial video, we are going to learn about all of the cool functions that are under the View menu, which is in the very top, top uh, window uh, menu bar, starting with File, uh, and then Edit, and it's the third option, View. Well, the fourth if you're starting with uh, FileMaker Pro uh, or FileMaker Pro Advanced. So then there's file, edit, and we're gonna focus today on view and all of the goodies that are hiding there. So let's get started. So when in view mode, the first thing that we see is uh, a set of mode options. And in FileMaker, a mode is sort of a state and uh, we're either browsing uh, data, we're looking at it, or we are editing it we're making changes to it, or we're entering data, or even deleting uh, data, deleting a record or deleting information out of a field. And uh, so that's what happens in browse mode. And that's the mode that we're in most of the time. Um, the other uh, significant mode that we uh, find ourselves in is find mode. And in find mode, uh, this is where you are entering in criteria to search for something. So in our case, uh, maybe we are looking for um, corporate uh, active customers. And uh, we have some things here, new request, and I speak a little more in detail about this really cool feature that's a part of the uh, find mode in another video. I'll put a link to that below in the description and include an info card for you. And now that we have our criteria, we'll go ahead and click the Perform Find button, and we have 48 found now that we're back in browse mode. And so going back to the View menu, uh, the other mode that exists is Layout Mode. Now some of you may not have access to Layout Mode because it might be restricted in your privileges. So when you log into the database, um, this particular mode may or may not be available to you. And what this mode is though, is the ability to change the appearance of how this particular layout looks. So I'm looking at a contact list and if I go into layout mode, I can uh, click on elements in the uh, layout that will change the appearance of uh, the layout in browse mode. So for example, I could click into the body and we have an inspector over here and I could change the color of the body to a purple and it changes that element. And I can uh, Command or Control Z and undo that. I could um, change this to be, um, you know, people, uh, change it back to contact. So this is where you control how it appears and even the functionality. You'll notice that uh, this particular element is in fact a button. Uh, so it does something. So we can control some of the behavior that happens on the layout as well uh, through this particular mode. Uh, you select fields on it um, and use the various tools at the top, which I'll cover in another video, to uh, you know put elements on the layout uh, to make it look and function the way you would like. So that is a brief introduction to layout mode. And then I'll go back into browse mode uh, before speaking about uh, the fourth mode, which is preview mode. And on this particular uh, layout, I want to uh, make note of the fact that the far right column on it is the sales column. And that last contact is here. And preview mode is the mode for previewing how it's going to look if you print it. So if we go to view and preview mode, you'll notice that last contact is the last uh, column that will show, out, show up if printed. So using preview mode is a great way to save paper 
you can first check to see if it's going to print out the way you want before you print it to paper. And while you're in preview mode, uh, you can do things like save it to Excel, uh, save it as a PDF, go ahead and click to uh, print the records, um, and you can even adjust the page setup uh, from here. And in preview mode, this bit here, this question mark is supposed to be pages, like how many pages it is, but we don't really know until we get to the end of it. So you have a couple of options. You can drag the slider to the end, or um, I sometimes like to just, if I know something isn't gonna be more than 99 pages, just uh, click to the last bit. And see, for example, this would have printed out a third page that has a lot of ink on it, uh, but in fact has no data on it. Uh, and to uh, navigate through the pages, you can just use the forward and back buttons, uh, or you can go to a specific page by typing in the page number. And so that's a little bit about the uh, preview mode and what it is there for. So moving on, uh, we have the ability uh, to go to layout. So uh, these are various different layouts in this particular database. So I could use this uh, uh, sub-menu item, go to layout, to navigate to a different layout uh, if I wanted to. And these next set are controlling sort of the presentation form, Ooh, the format of the data, whether it appears in list, which it is currently, uh, form, or as a table. So in looking at this as a list, it makes most sense because we're on a list layout, but if we chose view as form, we'd get a single. So it's kind of treating each row as a form record as we click through it. And if I go back to uh, view as list and do the converse, which is look at a form view. Uh, and if we click here, we'll see that view as form is checked. If I view as list, it might appear like not a lot changed, but some of the, the background changed because this is the color of the background of the body when a row is selected. So essentially we've just created a big list of forms. So, in fact, some folks uh, design their layouts uh, just like this, to be scrolling through um, sort of form-type records. Uh, but it doesn't make sense in this particular design, so we're going to go back to view as form. And then uh, if I go back to the list layout uh, and choose view as table, that gives us a more spreadsheet-like view of uh, the particular layout that we're on. So it contains all of the fields that were uh, on the layout. It just presents them in a more spreadsheet-like way, and we can do things like uh, write, you know, click on it and uh, sort by ascending or descending or a value list. Um, we can add uh, grand summaries or uh, create a group by full name. We can create subtotals. We can do all kinds of uh, interesting things to manipulate the data um, in terms of getting counts and subsummaries and doing on-the-fly reports, which I will cover in a later tutorial for you. So uh, you can uh, move these columns around. Uh, as you like and as makes sense. So it may, uh, you know, you may be doing some editing or you're trying to understand something and popping into this table view will help you get where you're trying to go a lot quicker than the list view. So this can come in really handy sometimes. And going back to the list view, you'll notice that my changing of the columns didn't impact uh, the list layout at all. So just another way of uh, viewing uh, the same information on the same layout. So those are the uh, different views. So we've covered the different modes, we've covered the different views, and now we're gonna move on to um, an area that can be super cool and not a lot of people uh, might pop in and spend time on, which is the status toolbar.
So first let's identify the status toolbar. That's this right here. So let's just see what it looks like to toggle it showing and unshowing. Right now it's showing, so if we take it away, it goes away. And for many of you, uh, this may be how your database looks to you. You don't, it doesn't open with the status menu. And so if you go to the view menu and you choose status uh, uh, bar, you can see that. Now you may not be able to, again, if the solution or the database that you are using is restricted and not allowing you to uh, access that. And there can be some you know, really good reasons that um, we want to hide this. So, but if you do have access to it, you can customize it. So we've seen how we can toggle to show it and unshow it, but the um, next bit is you can totally um, tweak it to put your favorite uh, features on the bar and give yourselves quick access to it. Um, so we can do things like, uh, let's see, this share button for uh, example. This isn't something that I do on a regular basis at all, so I could give myself some uh, toolbar real estate and get rid of that one. And I happen to really like the save finds uh, feature a lot, and so I'm gonna pop that uh, right next to my find button so I have quick access to it. And I work a lot with colleagues uh, in the database, and I find that rather than hopping on a call or um, you know, trying to set up a meeting or explain something at length or do screenshots, uh, sending over a quick snapshot link uh, is a far easier and more effective way to uh, collaborate on some information that we're trying to get clarification on or um, you know, talk about a workflow process uh, and I just wanna uh, you know, get some information up and uh, send a snapshot link over onto a colleague so that they can give me some feedback. So, you know, you have all kinds of goodies here you can add uh, and take away, you know. So, for example, you may well want to get rid of the delete record, um, you know, off so you don't accidentally uh, hit by that my mistake. Uh, let's see, the other goodies that we have here are save as a PDF, um, you know, save as Excel, uh, that may be a great one to also include and terrific for sharing for, with colleagues that uh, may not have FileMaker but need access uh, to some of the data that you're working with. Uh, if you're doing a lot of importing and exporting, uh, this one can be a great one to add to your toolbar. Uh, sending email. Um, I'm a huge fan of omit record uh, and I frequently use uh, show omitted only as I'm trying to isolate uh, some information I'm trying to find. And these two here, Debugger and Data Viewer, are specific to FileMaker Pro Advanced, uh, which has more developer kinds of tools in it. So if you have uh, just FileMaker Pro, you won't see these two uh, options here. Uh, and then you can even space, uh, space these differently. So if you wanted to you know, put some space in between some sections, you know, you've got... Uh, total liberty to really get that looking just the way you want and you can even adjust whether you see just the icon uh, or just text or icon and text which is the default so that is the custom toolbar which i just think is super cool for making things fast and easy for the routine types of things that you like to do uh, in your work day and uh, this la for this last one, I'm gonna pop over into the detail view. And this last one um, in this section is the formatting bar. And it gives you access to formatting text. So for example, in a notes field, you, know, you may want the ability to you know, change the font because you know, something is really important and you want it to uh, stand out. Uh, so you change the font, you change the font size, you know, and you even uh, change the, I think I have color here, yeah, uh, color of it. So you have full flexibility over this and depending on the type of uh, database solution you have, it may be really handy uh, to have some of these uh, formatting 
features available to you right from the status menu bar. And there is a video where I cover, um, you know, formatting notes to make them really readable and useful. And I'll provide a link to that uh, in the description below. So that is that section. And then sort of further on with this uh, formatting, we have the ruler. And so you can even do things like uh, insert tabs, right? So, you know, we have the default. Um, because tab is the default key for getting from field to field, um, you in the Mac hold down the option key and in Windows you uh, hold down the control key as you hit tab so that you can actually create a tab in a uh, text field. Uh, and then you'll notice that the ruler is popping up here. So if in fact I wanted to make this wrapping text, you know, here I can drag the tab field here and then pull back this other bit so that, you know, if I type some long, long text, it will be indented and, um, oops, I have to, I forgot the tab part of it. So I also have to put a tab, there we go. And you can see how the tab isn't quite lined up. Well, if I fussed with that, I'm super fussy. I would, there we go. See, I'm, I tend to want to try to be pixel perfect and get it lined up, but you can do some really, you know, neat and nifty things with tabs and the ruler um, so that information, you know, in different fields is super clear. Or if you're creating contracts, um, and some of the languages in here and you want it to be formatted in a specific way or letters um, and the information is in a particular field, you have really terrific tools for controlling how it looks. You know, here's all your styling options, uh, you know, your alignment options, uh, font, uh, etc. So that is the formatting bar and the ruler bar. And then uh, the zoom in and zoom out uh, is simply like, uh, sometimes like this might be, you know, this order history might be kind of tiny. So you might uh, zoom in on it so that you can get a closer look, you know, and conversely, you might be uh, looking at something uh, that uh, there's a lot more information below and you wanna see that information. Um, might be better to do that on the list view now. So if we were to go uh, zoom out, it's like we could see, you know, more of a bird's eye view by uh, zooming out some more. So the zooming in and zooming out can come in uh, real handy. So that is the entire list under the view menu. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, if you could give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.